Ofori, welcome. Thank you very much. Oh, for Julius Ziggy, <laughs> I, 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 Sunday, but this will be a case. I want Ziggy. So, wow. introduce yourself. Well, um, my name is for Julius Ziggy. Uh, I'm a footballer, as you all know, and I started playing at a very young age. So, I, I can't say that I've played for a while now. And um, what can I say? Now, I've also had the privilege of being in. One of the best teams in Ghana, which is Kumasi Asante Kotoko, and I'm also privileged to have this interview. As a lot of the fans out there do not know who I am, so today I'm more than happy to tell you all who I am and my objectives and the things I I hope to accomplish in this mighty team. Okay. Before we be a say we dey yeah 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 yeah. First of all, Kumasi Hano I hear now free. I come from Amakum. That's the place I, I've lived most of my life. So I, I believe uh, playing uh, the first time in Kumasi uh, Sports Stadium, a lot of, of the supporters out there were very familiar with me. And I've also uh, lived at Jinase, at Homsu. So basically, those are the places I've lived at mm. all my life. All right. So growing up, na Kotokoye, one of the teams that Obese Utiki, the career from there, very formative years as as a professional. Nakoto Koya, one of the clubs that helped as a hobo. Absolutely. I mean, Kumasi Asante Kotoko is a very big team. I will repeat that. It's a very big team. And like I said, I grew up in Amakum. So Kotoko is right at my doorstep. And this is a very big team, like I said. So, I mean, as a footballer, everybody would want to play for such a team. So I've always loved. It has always been in my heart from infancy. Mm -hmm. So being in this team, believe me, it's it's a big thing for me. It's a really big thing for me. All right, that means Sunday might have been a special day for you, um, having the chance to put on the red shirt and then representing the club in our first game of the season. How was the feeling like putting on the shirt, stepping out from the tunnel, and going on the field to play? Well, I can say uh, it was a synergy of feelings. Yeah. Right, I was like uh, really excited, ecstatic. And then at the same time, there was pressure to perform. I mean, performing in front of the people who has really supported you right from infancy, it's, it's a difficult thing to put on your shoulders. So, like I said, it was, it was a combination of happiness and then, then the pressure. And I must say, I enjoyed it. Even though um, our, our results was a bit disappointing. Uh, you know, in life, you can choose to see something as a glass half full or half empty. Yeah. And I'm glad the team is seeing this as half full. And you know, there are new players in the team, and I believe, uh, I believe in the management. I believe in the players. And going forward, I believe uh, we would come back stronger and then win matches. Uh, going forward. Mm. Just after the game, uh, a lot of the supporters were applauding your efforts on the field of play as a group, and a few of them were also of the view that. Most of the times, players don't care so much about results on the field of play. Uh, have you heard that thing before? And from your own experience as a footballer, is it true? I, I believe I can only talk about myself. I really cannot speak so much into the feelings of other players. But as a player, you know, when you win, it, it, it changes something in you. And especially playing for this big club, obviously wins are really, really important. Yeah. And uh, it's imperative for us to win every game. So losing, I, I personally, I think I, it bothers me so much. And then when you win games, you know, it, 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 it gives you more confidence yeah. going into other games. Yeah. So it's, I believe it's really important. And if other players are not taking it seriously, I would encourage them to take them seriously because it's really important. Okay, so uh, we'll be moving on to the next game. Um, what would you want to say to the fans who trip to the stadium on Sunday? Uh, who were like a bit let down by the by the results of the game and possibly by me thinking, wow, I, I would not be returning. Uh, what what would be your message to them? Well, to the supporters out there who are disappointed, I can understand. If you're supporting a big team like Kotoko, obviously if you do not win matches, uh, we can understand that you, you're disappointed. I get it. But like I said earlier, we have a lot of new players in the team. I for, I, for one, is a new player. And, you know, sometimes it takes a lot of times to know 
some of these players so i would ask you or encourage you all to be patient and going into this next game we are preparing very much like i said i i strongly believe in the management and the players and we we are preparing we are really preparing so going into the next game i can assure you that would give you something that would you know give bring you bliss so it means they they shouldn't give up yet absolutely no i mean you have to understand that uh to support means uh, sometimes you not you're not exactly going to get what you want. We understand you, so we would um, we are pleading on your behalf to uh, be patient and then understand that sometimes life can be a bit difficult. But we assure you, we are putting in the work and we are going to make sure that in no time we we'll bring you bliss. Yeah. We are making a trip to Bebeni, a venue where. We've picked up four points in our last two visits and supporters will want to see us continue with our impressive away record at that venue. How are you guys putting yourself together, preparing for that game? And what should we expect from you from that game? Okay, uh, clearly our results at Bibiani has been impressive. That is not to be complacent. Uh, like I said, uh, the management are really, really taking us through a lot, mentally, physically. So uh, we we are taking it in, in good faith, right? So we are really preparing. I know it's a difficult game, and uh, things cannot cannot generally be easy for us. Yeah. But I assure you, the supporters, that like I said, we are really preparing. We are making sure we are tough on the day, and then we will give you excitement. Uh, Julius, uh, a lot to want to know about your educational background. They say they are they like the way you express yourself and you speak like a politician. <laughs> Would you mind sharing with us? Well, okay. Um, I've I've had the privilege of going to school. I, I believe um, my parents were people who actually believed in education. So. Yeah. You know, in as much as from infancy, I wanted to stop um, going to school and then focus on football. They didn't allow me. Mm -hmm. They pressed on me, and then uh, so I, I, I've, I've been into the, the primary, the junior secondary school, the, uh, the, the senior secondary school, and then also uh, the polytechnic. I've also had the privilege of uh, doing a top up, which is a degree, and now I, I, I would say I'm a degree holder. Okay, so. Do you by any means have a political ambition or anything? Because they say you express yourself like a, a, a typical African politician. <laughs> well, I have no plans whatsoever about politics. I mean, the only thing I would want to do is to stay connected to football, probably become a coach, become an agent, become a football administrator. These are some of the things I have interest in. Yeah. Politics is not my thing. A lot of us have doubts, my supporters, that this squad is not up, up there to win us the league. You've trained with them. You know the dynamics in football. Do you have that belief in your team, like your squad in entirety, that they can actually clinch the trophy at the end of the season? I, I strongly, strongly believe in the players. You know, but one thing is players are not enough. Yeah. You see, irrespective of the quality you may have, you need leadership. And... I mean, clearly, our coach has proven that beyond doubt that he's, he's capable. So, believe me, we are in very capable hands. So, I strongly believe this league, if we put in the work, the dedication and the commitment, it would be very easy for us to, to win the league. Okay. Ziggy, it's a pleasure having time for us to, to, to talk on this issue. And we look forward to positive results in the subsequent game and wish you the very best of luck your stay uh, with us for the period that you are here um, all the best okay thank you very much for having me